I mean, I'm always available. Not, I mean, when I can. So, but this is going to make a tremendous difference because you can show it to people who do have art questions. You see it? So that's going to be good. This is my cocktail glass. Praise God, I don't drink alcohol because otherwise I would have been in trouble. But I drink glasses and glasses and glasses full of this. And I have to run to the ladies school all the time. What is in that glass? Um, this you know? is um, pomegranate juice and oh. lots of ice. But you can see I do everything big. My boss gave this to me full of sweets because, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and let me tell you, this glass, I drink. I, I drink, I can't, I can't tell you, like, I don't know how many of these per day. And the minute the, the, the cleaner walks in, she's got to wash my plastic glass first because <laughs> I want to fill it again. So, awesome. all right. Cheers. So you Cheers. <laughs> okay. You guys are ready to start? Yeah, you can rock and roll. Okay. So, first of all, I'm really really thankful for having the opportunity to speak to you guys the thing is is that a lot of people think of private property or your backing system edge um, which is integral um, as an administrative job you know you have to do the listing you have to put it on and you have to actually make sure people phone you etc etc but i need agents to think different about doing listings now I am from private property and I'm supposed to speak private property, which I'm going to, but I want agents to think different about when they do go to make do a listing and when they do put the listing in edge. What happens to that listing and how it's supposed to be packaged so that people will actually phone you. Now, I have no problem with, with our competitors, Property24. Uh, I think Ina Kreft is your relationship manager. I've got no problem with that. I speak to Ina once in a blue moon. We work well together. These are the only places in, in South Africa where you are really getting leads. Um, seldom people will Google a Keller Williams, for example, which I don't want to sound rude, but we pay millions and millions of rands every single month for the Google AdWords. So we buy those Google AdWords, the same for Property24, they've just got way more money than what we have because of NAS Fasha, they can buy more. But the reality is, is that if you do these two sites right, automatically, of course, your website will be right. But the, the thing is, is that this is where people are going to phone you from. I have never, ever voted for a dustbin. To me, that is ugly. I would, I would kill somebody to put my name and face on a trash bin because I ain't trash. There are agents who believe in it. Good for them. That's just not my style. So, and the bus stops are very expensive and people don't necessarily drive there. And that's what I want to get to today. When you do an advert, a poll, great. A dustbin, if you like it. Bus stops, fantastic if you want to do that. But the thing is, is that this is the highway. This is where the traffic is. If we can tell you that we have more than a thousand views, let's say in Equestria per day, it's actually way more. Um, the same goes for any area. This is where the traffic is. This is where the people drive. Somebody from who wants to buy in Gasfontein, for example, is not going to drive in Gasfontein. They might be living in Middleburg. Uh, somebody uh, wants to buy in Sublex Golf Estate. They might be f actually from overseas. I know that I had an, I have an agent who sold the property to somebody in Spain who has never been in South Africa, never. But he's he actually is going to move here, immigrate. They go, he's got a new job here, bringing his whole family. Okay, look at the private property listing and of course the video. So he bought that listing without visiting the, the property, and I need the agents to think this way. So I'm going to tell you how I see it and what I would have done, and then it's up to you. So I am very thankful that I have this opportunity and that you're actually recording it because you can share it with people and they can fast forward where they want to and they can reverse where they want to. Hopefully they will remember my little stories because this is what it's all about. 
So the first important thing that I would like for you guys to remember is the packaging. When I stand in front of Pick and Pay um, or Willis or whatever, there might be a coffee that's a no-name brand coffee. But the coffee, which is in the no-name brand packaging, does not look as attractive as the glass bottle which, which is standing next to it. The price difference is maybe 20 bucks or 30 rand, I don't know. But still, somewhere in your mind, if you can afford it, you would believe that the glass bottle coffee is better than that plastic container uh, coffee. So this is the standpoint from where we are going to speak today. I want to tell you a story. The other day, my mum came back from the hairdresser. Now, we have a problem with ants. So I have been getting people to do the poison and the whole thing, but it's like I think the house is built on an ant city, a very old ant city. So my mum came, uh, came in and she came and she sat in my office chair and she said, I bought you a little present. And she took out this little plastic container that was a spray bottle. Now, my first my idea is I know that the salon also sells perfume. So I thought it's not really a perfume bottle it's not really looking pretty but maybe you know maybe some of that those uh, cheaper oil-based perfumes or whatever so i took it from her i said thank you very much and i looked at the packaging and i should have known so i took that packet of that perfume and i sprayed it on my arm and i went like this and i said it's not smelling nice and she laughed but she didn't realize I was going to be this quick. So I sprayed another one. I thought, you know, I had COVID. Maybe it's still the smell. And I wrapped it like that. And I, smelled, I said, yeah, this, this smells horrible. What is it? And she said, it's actually a biohazard and poison. Now, I, of course, went and I washed my arms. But the idea is, is that the packaging should have indicated to me already that this cannot be perfume. And that's what I want to bring across. The, the packaging is very, very important. How you upload a listing, how the listing displays, and what you put into that listing and the pictures, of course. Um, some time back before the, the COVID and the lockdown started, I attended a roof party of a client in Santon. And um, I love beautiful bottles. So I'm always in trouble when I move or somebody is complaining about the boxes are full of empty bottles. Now, I don't drink alcohol, but I love the beautiful bottles. So it doesn't matter what it is. I would normally take the bottle and then somebody is going to ask, what are you going to do with that bottle? Add it to the, the container full of plastic, the glass bottles. But I love beautiful bottles. So I was standing, talking to this client at this roof party, and all these beautiful, it was these glass mirrors and all these beautiful bottles were stacked onto the bar. And I still remember the beautiful lighting with the beautiful reflection of the glass bottles in the mirrors, whatever. And about a week later, I read an article and I thought I actually misunderstood the heading of the article. But it's all about these bars renting glass bottles. They are actually renting the very expensive liquor bottles which nobody can afford to drink or nobody can afford to buy so it's like so for example um a wine that costs 10 grand they would have the empty 10 grand bottle on the shelf so it is to create a perception so going back to the packaging i want you to understand that when i walk into that bar I can think if I, if I was an expert or if I was a businessman knowing about a 10 grand bottle of wine or a thousand grand for a shooter or whatever the case would be, I would get the impression that this is a smart place. This is a place where the smart business people are hanging out because these places actually rent bottles just to make them look that smart. So th this is my second story that I want you to remember. It's the first one is the packaging. The second one is the perception that you can create. 
So I can go onto the internet and I can create a LinkedIn profile and I can say I am the CEO of uh, Una Krause Marketing. And I might not be that. The company might not even exist, but I can create. I can, um, I can attach stuff that makes me look legit. And that's the good and the bad of the internet. So I, my third little story is this. I had a friend, or actually a neighbor, and she went onto this, these dating websites. Now, I don't want to offend anybody who's on the dating website. I just wanted you to, to, to listen and hear the story. Okay. So she went on to these dating websites. Now, she used to be my neighbor, and she used to then bring her laptop and show me the shopping list of men and men and men. All right. So I said to her, you, of course, know that somebody can actually copy a picture from a guy sitting somewhere in, I don't want to say Russia because we crossed for Russia, but let's say in America. A blonde guy who is looking like a surfer and he can say he is the CEO of this high tech company. And he can be chatting you up and he's actually a swindler like this Tinder swindler story now. So, no, 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 no. She knows and she's careful and whatever. And one after the other, actually proved to be a dat or a psycho now i'm sure that there are people who do meet very nice men and ladies on these dating websites but the ones that she dated and the ones that she met were actually either psychos or dats or swindlers and i remember i could never wait for her to return from a date doesn't matter what time it was she had to come in and tell me what that guy did because it was always something weird you know like the one guy took out his teeth while they were busy having supper and put it into the wine glass and rinse it and put it back i mean weird stuff like that but the perception that he created on the website was totally different than that the other one uh, told her that he's a south african engineer working in america and uh, he's returning and and he literally swept her off her feet you know he's, he shows her pictures of handbags because he immediately knew what she was going to, look, you know, like. So at the end of the time, he actually said she must fetch me at the airport. And I said, Annette, you can't go because you will end up in your car's boot. He's going to hijack you and whatever, which turned out to be very close to that. So why I'm telling you the stories is when I now speak about the branding, doing your, showing your faces on the website, doing products, do it, knowing about the scoring, knowing about how you should upload your listing, how the packaging should look, please keep these stories in your mind and please remember it because it's going to make sense as I talk. Now, say for example, you are an estate agent in Belito and you, have, uh, you are competing with a brand new agency which comes on board and they do chop chop they do 40 listings for example you only have seven you will not stand the same chance or opportunity against them having more stock because it's all about the perception and if that client furthermore goes and use more products on private property for example to to stand out more and to be seen quicker then you are really going to be a secret agent. So I need you guys to do your homework. You need to go onto private property when we're done and when you've got a moment in time, and you have to type in the search area. So you're going to type in, for example, uh, Port Edward. And do not go and put search criteria in. We know exactly how people search because we, kn we know where they, where they click and where they go to, whatever. People search, the majority of the people, they open up and out of curiosity, they go page one, page two, page three, maybe page four, but that's more or less where they, where they go to. Now, you know for a fact that if you go onto Google and you search for used kiosk portage, you know that you're not going to go to page five or page six or whatever. You are going to go page one, maybe page two, maybe page, page, I don't even think page three. So what is important is 
whatever I tell you today, if you use it successfully and if you apply it successfully, you will be seen quick and quicker. You will be seen strong amongst your competitors and you will be able to actually offer the home, the, the buyer, the homeowner and the buyer, or if you are in, in rentals, way more. The same goes for commercial. So it's important that you use private property correctly. And if you do that, even if you don't spend one cent more, just by thinking about the, the packaging and just by thinking of what you're going to do with your listings, you are actually going to be in a position to strengthen your own brand. Now, I want to talk about people first before I touch anything else. I believe people buy from people. So if I had, I'm now looking at profile pics of Dini, Manda, Ini, Ina, Ina de Vries, Vanita, and Renee. All right. So I'm looking at pictures, but I don't see you face to face. You guys can see me face to face. So at this very moment in time, going forward, you've met me now face to face. Going forward, I will be the face of private property to you. So you will know, okay, that is our relationship manager. That's the person who can assist me in building my brand. I do not do IT. I do not do IT support. I don't have access to those systems. Um, so if you have a problem in IT, go check with H and Integral first because whatever you do in H and Integral is going to force fit onto private property and onto P24, et cetera, et cetera. So what I do is I build a client's brand. So I take a client from wherever you are, I introduce you to private property and I introduce you to products. I sell products to make your brand stand, stand out way stronger. You can use it. You can lose it. It's up to you. So I want to tell you more about the product soon. The first thing that I need to get through to your company and to your profile is Keller Williams Pivot does not have one listing with an agent's face on it. Not one. So immediately, one, people buy from people. Two, people you build an integrity amongst your competitors. Three, people will identify you. So if you do do the polls and the boards and whatever, people put a face next to a brand. So I want to, I will take it up with Rolo again. Rolo, I just wanted to mention this to you. And I want to mention it on the recording because, you know, people have questions and they don't necessarily ask or, you know, they, they forget about it. But people will now know, all right, my face is not there because that I'm not, I'm not a featured agent. So I will take it up with you again, but I wanted to, to you know, introduce you guys to it. So I believe also in putting pictures on that's relevant. I have an agent who's got a picture on that I'm telling you now. I saw her the other day at a function and... She introduced herself and I literally could not recognize her because the picture is like 20, 22 years old. I don't even know. So what I'm saying is, please put relevant pictures on. Your pictures should show in the inside of the listings. Put relevant pictures, professional pictures. We need to get you on the outside of the listings as well. So we've got your logo and we've got your picture. So if you do your homework and you go and you search page one, page two, page three. First of all, I, I don't know whether you're going to find yourself. And second of all, if you, when you do find yourself, you'll see your picture is not showing on top of the listing. And we need to get that right. But I will discuss that with Rolo. So you guys are sitting with 51 agents. The price Rolo is unlimited. So you will pay a fixed amount. It will cost, I don't even know, 51. I don't even know whether it's going to cost you 50 bucks an agent. I'm not even sure. I will, I don't, I'm not good with calculation. I can spend figures, but I can't do the calculation. So featured agents is a no-brainer. We need to do that. The second thing that's really important is, is that when you do a listing, just getting back to the packaging, you are not the buyer of that property. So you need to not think of what is what you would like to buy. 
what you would like to see in a property. When you do the listing, when you park your car in front of that property, think, you, your, your slogan is, think outside of the box, exactly that. So it might be that the buyer is looking for a property with a large, with, with a larger garage because he's got, I, I have a client actually who's got two cars, but both him and his wife's got big BMW motorbikes. So they park the BMW's motorbikes like this in front of the garage, and then they park the SUVs. So think about something that's going to be maybe not relevant to your needs, but to the buyer. It might be the bigger parking space. It might be that there's space for a caravan and a, gar a, a caravan and a carport. There might be um, a smaller pool or a larger pool, whatever the case may be. My need is I'm a single girl. I've got a lot of cats. I needed a safe, pretty place within Silverlace Golf Estate because of the security. That was my need. But the majority of the people who buy it are actually people with families, children, um, students, uh, living in with their, with their, with their families, um, grandparents. So when you look at a property, remember my story. When you stop at that place, please take enough pictures. I do not know how many pictures P24 allows. I don't know how many pictures your website allows, but we, I think we do like 30 or 40 pictures. So please, please, please take enough pictures. It's not going to cost you more. You are already at the place. When you do the description, in the first sentence, hit that selling line that you know that's going to get the people to actually read your little paragraph. You do not need to write novels, but please write good grammar. I don't like if you put the figure three instead of writing it out. I like it to read smooth, good grammar, Put the punchline at the top and you as an agent can actually say something about yourself in that paragraph. That's your paragraph. So you can say, um, for example, living in this estate, lo love the security and the tranquil environment, whatever you want. So you can actually put something about yourself in that in that paragraph as well. I don't know whether what that's the rules about uh, that uh, Killer Williams has got, but you can you own that space. You can write something that's going to make you and your brand looks better, and you can actually do something about the listing to make it sell. The first picture of the property is highly important because when people scroll down, they go picture price, picture price, picture price, picture price. So think about the, the, the picture. It does not need to be an outside picture. What is going to sell that property? The majority of the, the buyers in South Africa currently, the majority, actually are um, single women, all right, and first-time buyers. What sells to, to, a, to, a, to a lady? A kitchen, beautiful bathroom, lovely, lovely um, pajama lounge? I don't know. But you need to think about it, especially if you do look at the lower income brackets. But the single ladies and the newcomers, the new buyers, that's your market. Doesn't matter where we, where we look at. So keep that in mind when you do a listing as well. You can also change the first picture of the property. Let's say you don't get calls uh, and it's quiet. That first picture, taste differs. So I look terrible in green. You would call the off pop guy to come and fetch me if you see me in green. I look terrible in green. But that's taste. My assistant in law looks dashing in green. But taste differs. So when you don't get enough calls, you never know. I have seen properties sell just because I told the agent, change the front pick. You've got nothing to lose. Let's just go with it. A house in Walpert Rand. Beautiful house, a good sale, a bargain. I said to the agent, change the first pick. She changed the first pick. The property sold. So please keep this also in mind. Then I want to talk to you about 
uh, social media, before I go to the scoring of the listings, social media is highly, highly, highly important. And I need you guys to start focusing. Um, previously, if we talked about something like a TikTok video, people would think, but that's for, that's for children, you know, that's for teenagers doing funny TikTok movies. You would not believe the success that people have with TikTok movies, uh, TikTok videos. And you need something funky. You need something nice. You need something. If it was me, I would even have the, the kids showing them from the background. The kids and the, and the, uh, and the dogs running around. Or, um, you know, something funky that you can show in front of the garage. But make, start doing that. And I know that um, estate agents in our country are not used to doing something like that. If you're not comfortable, get somebody who can help you. You don't even have to pay for it. Just ask a teenager. Just ask a teenager. Get, get an idea. Try it out. You've got nothing to lose. That's, that's the first important thing. Uh, if you go onto private property, you will see that when you open one of your listings and you drop down at the bottom, very close to the bottom, we have where you can share directly a listing via email or Twitter. Uh, Facebook, etc., etc. Please make use of it. You don't have to reload it on your own website. You don't have to reload it on Facebook. But if there's something that I can tell you today is, is that Facebook, very important. Twitter, very important. TikTok, very important. I attended a digital marketing um, training on Friday. I'm actually writing this today. Um. I'll get back to you, Dini, now. Is it Dini? Do I pronounce it correct? Dini. Okay. So, Dini, thank you for the question. I'll get back to that just now. So, if you if you are not hot on social media now, you need to start being hot. Because, Ms. going to get all these emails gone. Sorry. Um, so, if you, if you can make sure that your itch is as good as possible, so that your private property, your property 24, and your website is sparkling. And you then go onto private property, and you can furthermore share directly from, from the front end. You open your Facebook, you open your stuff, and you can share directly onto that. You know then, okay, good. I've got Edge sorted. I've got private property sorted. I've got P24 sorted. I've got my Facebook sorted. Get on top of Twitter. Get on top of um TikTok, all right so as i said ask teenagers do funny things dinny there's now so so many rules and regulations and stuff regarding showing of children and showing of dogs etc etc you know and i tell you my colleagues would differ from from me but i like doing something personal and i think that the world has changed so much after the last two years you know people working from home and um, doing a, a meeting like this, and then the father walks behind the lady in his underpants, and she goes, oh, no, come out of the way, out of the way. And then the next time that a cat jumps onto a minister's desk, and while there's a meeting on, I think things became more relaxed. And um, it's even difficult for me to put working clothes on. After this meeting, I've got to go and see a client. And, I mean, just to get back into the thing about dressing professionally again has been tough for me the last day or two because I was used to doing only the top parts nice if I do Zoom meetings, but my slippers were on. And I think if, if I were an agent now, I would have brought in the, the personal and the human part of it. So, for example, when you do a... I'll talk about uh, us doing a high definition videos just now. But if you do a TikTok video and you, for example, have the people's, the, the homeowner or the tenant's dog running around you or feeding the dog or making jumps or maybe maybe the dog um, sits on his, on his hind legs. I don't know. But if it was me, I would have started doing TikTok videos in front of the property. It might be um, showing something, uh, the big swans in the swimming pool. It might be 
the dogs running around and um, and making them do tricks. It might be uh, doing a TikTok video in front of the cats. And I know that this is strange. I know that it's not familiar. And I know it's not familiar territory. But I am now already giving you the tip. It's not costing you money. But I'm now already giving you the tip. And I am bold. And I believe if I am to do a job, I have to be the best in that job. And I believe that when I do a job, I want to be first and I want to be different. So how cool would it be if you are to be the first, it's not estate agent, it's property professional, eh? what is it called? Yeah. Mm. What would it be if I am the first or you are the first property professional in Port Edward, Mshlanga, Equestria? What would it take from you to do it? Test it, try it, send it on. Yes, Rolo. Do not, sorry, uh, my battery life on my laptop is running out quicker than be, what I anticipated. No. Um, I'm probably left. going to lose you no. in the next minute or two. It's fine. Please, just a big thank you from, from me no. for in case it drops me, okay. then um, it will automatically continue and email me later matter. the video. Let me quickly, I've got five minutes left. So awesome. let's, let's fire just away. Just a quick thank you for in case it drops me. Sorry, okay. girls. <laughs> now, now, I wanted to quickly tell you, the, the, the TikTok video will not be on private property. You will be able to send it. Now, I, want, I, will, I would like to have another session with you guys again uh, regarding this, uh, the social media as well. Because if, if it was me, I would have made sure that I have my private property listings right. I would like, I would like for you guys to do the HD videos. And I have a TikTok. So can you imagine, and I've got Facebook. So can you imagine when somebody phones me from P24, from a board, from private property, or from a reference, I can send that guy the whole package. What if I have the professional video and I've got the cute, funny TikTok? So I want you guys to get there. Renee, there we go. Okay. Yes. Good morning, everybody. Thank you. We've got load shedding, so I'm on my phone at the moment. It's fine. Um, what I was going to say is I had an international client come through and you won't believe it. He looked for a video of Pleasure Bay where I am. And I, I there was actually a guy, um, another agency who had made one, inviting everybody to come to Leisure Bay and come and share the properties and live here with us. And that has just motivated me this weekend. I'm definitely going to make one. So that okay. I can also show the beauty of my area to everybody else. Perfect. So let me tell you about private property with the with the videos just quickly before more drops off. So we the price that we charge is what our outsource companies charge us. So we are not making money on this. Every single month we do thousands of videos for all our clients. The videos <clears throat> do not have logos on. We allow our clients to share it onto our opposition's page because, yes, of course, I would like you to have more leads on private property, but you guys are secret agents currently on my site. So that's why we're sitting with us. I had a look. Uh, we, you, had, you have 586 listings. You've got 82 rentals. You are working in more than 250 suburbs. Now you go onto private property and see if you can find what I've just told you. So I want to talk to you about quickly about the videos. I'm going to send a mail to Rolo and he will then forward it to you guys so that whatever we haven't touched on today, you will see because I need to show you the scorecard. But the scorecard is in any event, 30% is the video. So there's no company in the country or in the world that can beat our prices. It is so that we actually, even though we pay in on it, it's actually for the ranking on Google that we do it. It's actually to improve your profile on Google. It's actually so that we can improve your profile on private property, H and P24. We've got nothing to do with P24. But if we can lift your business, we will lift our business. We will be able to give you more products. So when we do a video, you can do one at a time. But it's um, actually, I wouldn't, I would have done 
a f um, five or ten and I would share it amongst the, the agents because it just works out so much more affordable. But it's still a very good price. Look, go and search and see what Matterport videos actually cost you. It's way more than a thousand rand. We give the Matterport video free of charge if you do a video with us. So at the professional pictures, sorry. So the price includes the high definition video. The price includes the pictures and the price includes the Matterport. That price offers you to go and do a YouTube video because that's my next social media thing I want to talk to you. You have to have a YouTube video. Guys, please take my tips about these video things I'm telling you. People are using YouTube way more than Google. It's starting to actually balance out. So I, Google, I don't Google. I YouTube. I only Google if I want to see an estate agent that phones me and said, I want to sign up. I just want to quickly get an idea of that estate agent, what, when, where, and whatever, and to know what I'm going to actually speak to. So, but you have to have a YouTube cha channel. So now remember, one video, one listing. Improve private property, edge, your K, uh, KW page, your P24, you're going to upload it onto YouTube. That YouTube uh, link you will send to P24, and they will upload it free of charge to you. So five platforms just by doing one video. And that video will make your listing rank 30% higher. So I told, I don't know who joined in the beginning, but I told you about uh, the agent in Silver Lakes who sold a property to a guy in Spain just based on the video. So people want to see the videos. It is a 24-7 show house. I can sit in my, in my bed, I can have my glass of cool drink, and I can literally walk through seven properties or how many properties I want to. And we do the videos right across the country. So if you are in Mushanga, we do the videos there. Um, so we've got two companies which are outsourced and they bill us for every video. But you get the email link to say, hi, Renee. Uh, and uh, this is the link for T12345. So you will get the media link, you get the pictures, you get the videos, everything. You will download it. You will upload it in your in your back end systems as well. So just by doing a video, you're already improving your in integrity. So everything that I say and everything that I explain regarding the packaging, regarding when you do a listing, what is going to sell, regarding the 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 the, the little paragraph that you are sending the description saying something about yourself putting your faces on everything that i talk is to build your brand to build your own brand of course that's i believe in that people follow people people buy from people and it's to, imp and, and to improve the integrity of your brand there are a lot of crooks out there and there's a lot of people that say i am this i am that I am this, I'm that. You would not know it. But you've got a good brand. Your brand is growing. I need you to improve your private property. I need you to improve your the overall Google. But I really need you to buy into private property. Because as I told you, we do not put logos on it. You will improve all the other sites. So if you get more leads again from P24, fine. You are selling. And if you sell one house from private property, just one, it's, it's worth it. So I really think that if you guys buy into this, the featured listings, this is a good example. Um, a featured listing buys your priority place. So it will immediately take your listing from page 21, 7, 4, wherever, and buys a priority place. When you open private property, you go and you do your homework, you will see at default the featured listing starts at the top. This blue mark is my cat. Okay, so <laughs> I've only saw it now. <laughs> so when you guys buy into the featured listings, for example, you pay per month, per month, and you can chop and change that slot all the time. So say, for example, Manda buys a featured listing. She can feature listing A today and listing B tomorrow and listing C the following day, but she pays per month. 
But I like to feature a listing once a month, uh, once a week, change it once a week, because you've got weekend viewers and you've got uh, week viewers. So let's say, for example, uh, Vinny, Vinita. Let's say Vinita. Vinita, let's say you, for example, have um, a property that is got a massive price drop. People are divorcing. They've got to sell. It goes quick, quick, quick. You have to. You can then do a price drop. We send out emails to all the registered buyers in that price range and say, this is a price drop, price reduced listing, so the people get the notifications. We put the price reduced on the listing, and of course, you feature that listing. So immediately, you are moving that listing into a priority place where your brand, your face, and your listing is to be seen quicker. So there's much more to private property than just doing a listing and feeding it. And I just wanted you to have a mind shift today or a possible mind shift of what property is going to look like in the future. It is videos. People don't have the time. And this lockdown has just proved my point. So I need you to start thinking social media. I need you to start thinking TikTok. I need you to start YouTube. And I need you to just do Facebook. We have launched a product. It's called Sales Flats. You would have received emails directly into your, um, when was it? Last month. Uh, you would have received emails directly into your inbox. When we do the Facebook for you, on your behalf, it's affordable. We send it out. And you necessarily will not get that ad because you're not the buyer. But on Facebook, your brand will be, be getting more exposure. So we actually even do a listing for you on behalf of you. So I can't promise leads from that, but I can tell you that your face and your listing will get more exposure. So we even make it easier for you guys. But if I can just get you guys to do more stock in your area and to be seen quicker on private property, to use the products because it's a no-brainer, the videos, and to actually start thinking more out of the box uh, in terms of doing something quirky like the TikTok videos because that's already working in uh, overseas countries and it's going to take off. I saw it again with this course that I did on Friday, the digital marketing course. That's the more important thing. And just getting back to the stock, I wear a size 4 shoe. So when I walk into a shop, a store, and I ask, um, may I have that shoe in a 4? And the lady stays away and she comes back and she says, I'm sorry, we don't, I have this only in the six. I said, okay, what about that one? And she goes and she comes back and she says, no, I, only in a three or a seven or whatever. And shoe after shoe, they don't have my size. Even if I say, okay, bring me a five, I'll go with a five. I'm not going to return to that store because they do not have my size and they do not have the variety that I need. If somebody is looking at your profile and they see you've got 3.7, 4.2, 5.8, 2.9, but they are actually looking at a, a, a price for, let's say, 1.7. And you might not be working in the 1.7 area, but your prices in your estate are typically the 2.9 to the 7 or whatever. Yes, have a variety in your price range. So if you um, work in mid-rent and your mid-rent range is anything from 890 to, yes, to the 9 million and Kailami and that areas where you've got the higher price range, then please see if you can get the variety of prices that's in your search criteria. Because you never, never know. Somebody might just be phoning you for that property or that property. But I need you to have more logos, more faces to be seen quicker on private property. And if, if you fix it, yeah, it's going to be fixed all over the show. It's not only a private property thing. And that's what I wanted you guys to understand today. Think out of the box and let's start trying and researching new things. And that's my story. Anything else, my darlings? No questions? No comments?
Manda, Renai. Yes, Renai. Thank you. It was very informative. And yeah, I think we need to get more um, digital these days and more virtual. And I believe that's the way we have to go. For sure. And um, I mean, it's really, you know, and I want to just uh, st uh, strengthen another point. Do not think that a video is only to be used on an expensive property. I would... That your question is, do you, can, this, can I sell this house? Is this a sellable property? You're not going to waste an overpriced property. Can I sell this property? Is the sellable property? Can I use the video to go and negotiate with um, the homeowner to give me a sole mandate? Because the next agent does not perhaps do videos. You just need to think a little bit different. Vanita. Hi. Um, uh, thank you for the yeah thank you it was very interesting who do we contact if we want to use your video videos and yourself facebook okay so i will send the facebook stuff through to rollo and he can actually um forward it to you guys uh the whole team and then i tend to quickly close all these mails coming in so that is that's important uh that uh, you distribute it i will send you anything that I think is important and urgent now for you guys to do. That's the one thing. Second of all, remember that all these products have one calendar month cancellation period. So you're not signing for six months or a year or something. The third thing is there's a process. So because we do thousands, everything run electronically because literally every reference number that gets a video, we are being bought for. So Rolo will have access to a program. I know Heather's got it as well, called Insights. So let's say, for example, you want a video done. You will send um, Rolo or either then a mail saying, I would like to do a, vid uh, a video on 17 Glen Eagle Silver Lakes Golf Estate. All right. So he will put the detail in, that in insights. In that order, that order runs onto the HD desk. They place the order with one of, of the two companies. The video guy, video consultant or videographer or whatever you call them, will contact you and say, hi, Vanita, um, let's set up an appointment. So you will then work with that person to do an appointment as quickly as possible. And they will go out and they will do the HD and they will do the Matterport. Uh, but I need you to go to the property before the person shows up. Make it pretty. Go and fix it. Put a vase of flowers on the kitchen counter. Take out the iron board. Uh, you know, I did properties all my life. And I remember I would walk into a house and I think, I can't show this property. But I make the bed, I throw the, I throw the, the laundry on the other side of the bed. I take out the air freshener of the toilet, the toilet brush, because we all know there's a toilet brush. But I don't want that in the picture. I don't want that in the video. And it's a way of working with the people who live there to for relationships um, to do it nicely. But I would even have a box of my own towels and everything, and I would quickly take the towels off and take the laundry basket and put my nice towels there. Uh, just think about how the picture's going to look. You know, when I look at my office, it's this big, all right? But on private property, this picture is going to look this big. So I need to make sure that my desk if I take a picture of my office, I need to make sure that my desk is tidy. I need to make sure that uh, the picture that's going to be looking this big does not have an open toilet. Or I even had agents. I mean, I would say, I would make a screenshot and send a mail to an agent saying, "What the hell were you thinking?" Because the agent was standing in the bathroom taking a picture in of of the mirrors, you know, and then you can see the agent in there. You don't do that. Let's. Be the best or strive to be the best that we can be. Let's strive to be different and let's strive to already get into the practice that's going to follow. And then you are already doing all these things. That's my belief. Manda, Vanita, Renee, Jana, any other things? Questions, remarks? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I do appreciate you mentioning the photos with the on on property twenty four because um, oh. it's something that I've 
happened very early on is you never send an advertisement out without your face because they're buying from you, not from a name. For sure. So on private property, I need you guys to put your faces very urgently, but I will get that sorted with Rolo. And uh, because that's to me a no-brainer, really. Um, you know, you park your car and your car, your, your name and your face on your car. Maybe I don't know whether yours is. People, if they search you on uh, prior property, they need to see. If they search on P24, they need to see it. If they search on um, on Killer Williams's private site, they just do your best to be seen. If you're a secret agent on private property, I cannot help you. It's as simple as that. So you're going to tell me, yes, you know, you know, I had so many leads on private property and so many leads on P24. Yes, I know. They ask, they've got a lot of money. They can buy a lot of leads and stuff. But we offer good leads. We offer good value and we offer good service. And uh, we have a passion for our company. We have a passion for our clients. And uh, we don't charge for views, leads and clicks. You pay a fixed amount every single month. And um, I mean, 51 agents. If you, if you break that up, it's really, I don't even want to go into the pricing. So, to me, I want you to please go and do your homework. Type in private property, type in the search bar, the areas, go look at your competition, go look at where you are, go look at your listings as if you were the buyer. And let's tweak, tweak your profiles and we, we can take it from there. All right. Anything else, my darlings, my dears? Well, I love seeing you guys, even though I see V, Vanita, and I see Manda. I, I don't. Next time, I want to see you guys, all right? Ah, fabulous. You see, there we go. All right. So, it was nice meeting you guys. It was lovely seeing you guys. And uh, I appreciate the time that you spent with me and listening and hearing all my stories. I've got actually way more to tell, but for now, it's more than enough. And uh, please go and do your homework. I'll send a mail to Rolo and uh, he can take it from there. All right. Anything else? Nothing? Thank bye you. Bye-bye. 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 Have bye -bye. a wonderful day. Bye. Thank bye. you. Bye.